Motors are a big consumer in the industrial side. Between pumps, chillers, compressors, uh, they all have motors that are performing the mechanical function. The biggest opportunity for motors is to turn them off where they're not being used. There's a perception that it costs a lot of extra energy to turn a motor on, so they tend to be left on over brakes. You have to look very carefully at that. There is a slight bump in energy increase when you turn a motor on, but it's, it's, it's usually a lot smaller than what most people see. Starting and stopping motors is not just an energy issue. It's also a wear and tear issue, and we'll, we'll hear that. There are guidelines that tell you the number of starts and stops of a motor, and it takes into consideration the wear and tear on a motor. So a, uh, perhaps a 50 horsepower motor will have fewer starts and stops allowable over a uh, you know, one minute period than perhaps a, a three horsepower or five horsepower motor. So those guidelines are spelled out and they're really set up to cover the wear and tear on motors. If a motor is potentially going to be off for five minutes or so, we see that as an opportunity. And if it's a, you know, a, a two or a three horsepower motor, there is an opportunity to turn it off. That's often overlooked. The second opportunity is to right size the motor to make sure that it's sized appropriately. Often you'll see motors that are oversized. There's an opportunity there. They're, they're wasting a lot of energy because they're not operating in their efficient zone. Another very common opportunity is to look at the loads. If you have a load that you see that is varying in the production process, for example, if it's a fan or a pump, that may be a good opportunity for a VFD. So you want to make sure the energy being consumed really fits with the application.